Good evening, I'm Lenore Moudou. This is Africa 54. Vincent McCurry is off today. U.S. President Barack Obama has just finished addressing the second class of Mandela Washington Fellows Monday as part of the presidential summit of the Young African Leaders Initiative, YALI, empowers 500 young people through academic coursework, leadership training, and networking. A short time ago in the nation's capital, Mr. Obama told the gathering of Africa's brightest minds that the continent is on the rise. Even as Africa continues to confront many challenges, Africa is on the move. It's one of the fastest growing regions in the world. Africa's middle class is projected to grow to more than one billion consumers, with hundreds of millions of mobile phones and surging access to the internet. Africans are beginning to leapfrog old technologies into new prosperity. The continent has achieved historic gains in health from fighting HIV AIDS to making childbirth safer for women and babies. Millions have been lifted from extreme poverty. So this is extraordinary progress. Each Mandela Washington Fellow participated in a six-week academic and leadership program at a U.S. college and university in one of three tracks, business and entrepreneurship, civic leadership, or public management. Now, all this week on Africa 54, as part of our special Yali coverage, we are airing profiles of some of the Mandela Fellows. First up is Aisatu Diallo. She is a sponsorship manager for the French NGO Aid et Action. We take you to Staten Island, New York, to get a taste of Aisatu's experience that she says will make a difference when she heads back home to Guinea to continue her work against women and young girls' mutilation. How about these tall ones? Yeah. See, this will pitch yeah, it quite high. Another one like so it's not easy to achieve your goal, so you have there to work. Go. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. My name is Aisha Tigello. I'm from Guinea Conakry. Yeah. 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 For example, in my country, yeah. Uh, most of the disabled persons are not educated. You can find most on the streets begging. Mm -hmm. So they are neglected. I work for Aid de Action. It's a French NGO which promotes education for vulnerable children in my communities. ESA2 is working with some of the um, most marginalized people within her country, especially young women. And her experience building from literally nothing an infrastructure by which to sustain the education of women in particular um, has been a really great eye-opening experience for us in the U.S. and here at Wagner. What I really like today it was when we went to the, to the lifestyle. Organization that works with individuals with intellectual disabilities, so people that we would typically in the past call people with mental retardation and trying to take a look at some of the ways they've set up micro businesses and also continue to do education. I was shy, I was not really talkful, but I was a little like, I didn't want to trust nobody. I was just that shop, shop for myself. Now I changed my whole life. When I saw those people who were very committed despite their disabilities, I saw hope on them. And for me, they are not disabled person. They are able person because they can do something. I saw what, what they manufactured, what they did. It was so, so, so emotional. What kind of animal is this one? Hippopotamus. I think uh, Americans do not neglect people because everybody can do something in, his, in, his, in this life to show how to demonstrate their, their, their skills, their potential. I think ASA2 has um, been able to gain um, some new skills to expand her organization um, from here on out. My main goal is that I want to see all little girls educated. I want to empower women through education. I know we all are doing great things and I admire everyone, but Aisha is so unique. You know, meeting Aisha, you know, inspired me to do more for um, the 
disabled pregnant mothers. And um, Aisha is a very wonderful person. I want to be a great leader. I want to be uh, someone who can fight for women's rights. And I want to be among those networking women who are very powerful, who are always dealing with women issues. I want to be among them and be, be a leader, not, not only for my country, for all Africa. I want to be a Nelson Mandela. <laughs>